Here you can see the main screen. Uh, on the left here we have a camera panel which shows all of the cameras installed in the system. For this demonstration we have a single camera and for each camera there is a location map and a photo each of which can be enlarged by the operator to give a closer view of where the camera recognition actually took place. In the centre we have an event panel which shows the most recent capture by the system. Again the main image can be enlarged as well as the plate patch. On the right we have uh, any matches with the known vehicle database which forms part of the system. This particular vehicle was matched to the database and the details come up together with a guide for the operator, what he actions he may have to take, what the uh, barrier may do, the vehicle barrier, and which message may be displayed on an automatic message sign. At the bottom we have a recent panel here which shows the most recent captures so that the operator can look back for anything that he may have missed. If I start the uh, video coming into the system we'll now start to see recognition events occurring on the main screen. This film is from a motorway, uh, the outside lane of a motorway, where the traffic's doing about 80 miles per hour. Each vehicle is detected, displayed on the screen, the database checked to see if there's a match and the result put into the recent panel at the bottom. If this was a multi-camera system the appropriate camera would be selected in this list and the map or photo displayed to the operator. At any time the operator can press the live button to check the video coming into the system. the operator wishes to look at uh, any uh, captures then he just needs to click on the relevant capture and we will be taken to the review screen. The capture carries on in the background no matter what the operator does the system will work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week Going back to the review screen, this provides uh, details, uh, a detailed way of searching for vehicles. Um, at the moment we've selected this particular plate to search for and we've found one match. Again we can have a look at the main image enlarged and the plate patch. Plus again there's a check against the database and if there's any match then the details are displayed. If I select all records, we can show all of the uh, captures which are in the system. Currently there are 210 with a beginning and end date as shown. The number is increasing because capture is carrying on in the background. The results that we just searched for are displayed here and selecting each one shows the details in the review screen together with any database matches in the vehicle panel. Searching can be for 
a full plate or a part plate. So to find all vehicles beginning with H then we just enter that information and tick this box here. For all vehicles ending with H we tick this one here and for all vehicles containing an H this one here. The results are displayed at the bottom together with the number of records found. We can also combine this with a time search. So we may want to search just the last hour, last day, week, month, or specific times and dates if necessary. This can also be combined with a group search. Vehicles unknown to the system are in the no group whilst other groups set up by the user may be for staff, managers, visitors etc. So if we was to search for hot list group, administration, service, we, f we get our first matches here. We can also combine the search with cameras. In this particular system we only have one camera. And the final thing is we can also search by event. This includes low speed, high speed, short journey, long journey, short stay and long stay vehicles. Records may be printed. Here is a print preview for uh, the first record in the list. and may also be exported 